pencils down. Make sure you gather around so you can see. You don't need to be standing behind anybody. There's enough space for us to uh, have a discussion. Before we start our science lesson, I'd like to talk about food preservation. Food preservation. Who can tell me what does food preservation mean? What does food preservation mean? When you store something. When you store something. Yes, nice, good start. What else? Store something to make the food last longer. Nice, yes. Who knows a method of food preservation? Who knows a method of food preservation? Sandra, do you know a method of food preservation? You don't, you don't know one. You don't know one. Do you know one, Alfie? Uh, jelly. Jelly? How interesting. What do you know about jelly? Um, um, what, what, what is jelly? Basically, when you put jelly over like fish, and like different foods. Right, interesting. Putting jelly over different foods. Hands up if you try jelly with fruit in. Yeah, jelly with fruit in. Hatton, tell me, what, have, you, have you eaten it before? What was the fruit inside? Peaches. Peaches put inside jelly. Has anybody got any ideas? How does that preserve the food? How does jelly preserve the food? Something. So somehow the jelly must block the bacteria getting into the food. How does that happen? Because it's airtight and the germs around. Do you hear that word? Airtight. That's very interesting because airtight is a word that when you investigate food preservation, that happens quite a lot. Does anybody know another type of Food preservation that relies on something being airtight. Airtight. Let's have some ideas. Any ideas? What's this one? Canning and bottling. Cans have had actually the air removed and the food is packed inside. Have you ever opened a can and opened it up? And it's right to the top, isn't it? Good, good. Well done. I heard another one. Vacuum packing. Can you explain it? You done some research? Uh, I did, but it's all That's right. Did you read what it was? Uh, it was, it, well, I saw on the image that it was a packing with like different colors in it and yeah. bottles. Okay. Any ideas? Yes, Anita. Um, my mum, when she first came to the store, she has a big bag and then like, she sucks it and then everything becomes squished inside and it just goes. Wow. So when you vacuum something, you put it inside a bag, and then when it's closed, you can suck, using a different strategy or whatever you do, suck the air out of it. What is this? The food preservation that we've just been talking about, telling us about bacteria. What is it telling us about bacteria? We talked about jelly. It traps the air, or it's airtight. We talked about canning and bottling. You put the lid on, or the can has got no air inside. Vacuum removes the air from the food. What's that telling us about air and bacteria? What's that telling us about air and bacteria? Uh, there's, bacteria in the air. there's bacteria in the air. Great start. Well done. Anything else? You can't see it? Quite likely. Um, Say that nice and loud for everybody to hear. Um, it's like humans, they, if there is no air, they can't breathe and they'll die. Right. Thank you very much. Bacteria needs air. But that's unusual because in my experiment I did with you, I put the lid on top of the cheese, on top of the tomatoes. Joseph, there's air inside the container. How could have I preserved our food longer? Good, well done. I could have wrapped it perhaps in clean film to actually stop the air getting to it. How else? Put it in a bag, vacuum it so the air comes out and kept it longer. Yes? Put it in a smaller container with less air around the edge. Fantastic, some really good thinking skills, hands down. Your challenge now, 
between now and lunch, look at the clock, it's 11.25. I'd like to read a bit of the story to you by about 12, maybe just after. Between now and 12 o'clock, you've got 25 minutes. I'd like you to complete your food preservation posters. There is eight sections. I want you to research on the iPad eight different ways, and there's more than eight, so you choose the eight you want. The eight different ways you would like to demonstrate you understand food preservation. I'd be surprised if you didn't have some sort of thing about temperature. Why is temperature important? Why is temperature important? Because then if you have, if you have a cold temperature, it would be okay, but if you have a warm temperature, you Fantastic. Good. Well done. Now, just like we thought about bacteria and air, during this learning now, I want you to think, what else does bacteria need? What else does bacteria need? No answers now. Answers now. At the end of this lesson, we'll have a conversation about what else, other than air, does bacteria need? Okay? Hands down. iPads there are one inch, so you can do your own research. The next 25 minutes is going to be working quite independently and quietly. And listen, before you go, if by any chance you finish your poster, there is plenty else in your science books that needs to be finished. So this 25, well, 35 minutes, 